This lesson will show how to determine the derivatives of exponential and log functions with base e that require the chain rule. We're asked to find the derivative function of each given function. The first function is f of x equals two times e to the power of the sum of four x squared and two. Looking at our derivative formulas, to find f prime of x, we do not want to use the derivative formula, the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x, because the exponent is not just x, it's four x squared plus two. This indicates f of x is a composite function and we need to apply the chain rule. And therefore we use the formula here on the right that includes the chain rule where the derivative of e to the u with respect to x equals e to the u times u prime. Referencing the formula and the given function, notice u is equal to the exponent of four x squared plus two. Let's also determine u prime, which is a derivative of four x squared plus two, which is eight x. So now if it's helpful, we can think of the given function as just two e to the u and differentiate with respect to x by applying the derivative formula. This indicates that f prime of x is equal to the derivative of two e to the u with respect to x, which is two times e to the u times u prime. But of course you need to write this back in terms of x by replacing u with four x squared plus two and u prime with eight x. This gives us two times e to the power of the sum of four x squared and two times eight x. Let's go ahead and multiply two and eight x, which is 16 x, and write f prime of x as 16 x times e to the power of the sum of four x squared and two. After doing this a while, you probably don't have to show this much work, but when first learning the chain rule, it's often helpful to always find u and u prime and write them down. Next, we have g of x equals negative three natural log of the quantity five x plus three. Looking at our derivative formulas, again, we do have a composite function and therefore we do not want to use the derivative formula. The derivative of natural log x with respect to x equals one divided by x. Again, because the input in our function is not just x, it's five x plus three. We'll use the derivative formula with the chain rule which is here on the right, the derivative of natural log u with respect to x equals one over u times u prime. So again, notice for our function g of x, u is equal to five x plus three. And therefore u prime is equal to the derivative of five x plus three, which is five. And again, if it's helpful, we can think of the given function now as just negative three natural log u, which indicates g prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative three natural log u with respect to x, which is equal to negative three times one over u times u prime. Writing this back in terms of x, we have negative three times one divided by the sum of five x and three times u prime, which is five. Let's go ahead and simplify. G prime of x equals negative three times five is negative 15, giving us negative 15 divided by the sum of five x and three. I hope you found this helpful.